What's up guys? It's Aaron and you're watching The Road to the Oak. I drops every blue moon to separate myself from you kings of the YouTube. I am more YouTube. I am like Bono with the edge. And, and here we are at my favorite grocery store. And cafe. We got cannolis, anti-catabolic cannolis, Some kale salad, various types of chicken. What's up everyone? I'm very excited to be back on the YouTube series and uh, really excited to bring you guys on the journey to the open class that uh, this series has been long anticipated by myself and hopefully by you as well. Um, yeah, well, spending the last majority of the previous years starving to try to make weight, I decided to release the beast and just uh, go for it and um, you know recently I've been really trying to focus on work and getting my feet on the ground um, as I'm also a regional sales manager for the company um, but um, as you'll see throughout this series I hope to put on some good size and uh, you know really be able to stand up there against these monsters on the open stage um, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty short guy at five foot seven, but um, I would say in the 212 class, that's actually kind of on the tall end. I'm kind of in that middle, that middle no man's land where I'm a little too short for the open, but a little tall for the, the 212 class. So I decided to just say, you only live once and just go for it. Um, I've been eating, you know, I would say normal a good day is about five meals. Um, pretty much, you know, it's pretty standard. I eat pretty high carb and uh, I'm not afraid of any cheat foods right now. I'm staying pretty lean. Um, I've been using the two new products that Blackstone came out with, the Chosen One and the Voodoo Force, and they're actually working surprisingly well. Um, I kind of went into using those just kind of with the what the heck attitude, why not? Um, I used to use some pro hormones back in the day. They were kind of hit or miss. Um, one thing that do, does kind of worry me, I guess, with products like that, it's just, you know, when your liver enzymes get too high, your appetite goes down the toilet. And one of the biggest struggles for me is to eat enough to grow. So. Why take something to help you gain muscle when you can't eat enough to gain muscle? It doesn't make any sense. So, so far these have been great and they haven't messed up my appetite. Um, you know, I haven't really noticed any negative side effects other than a change in body composition. Not really an extreme weight gain, but keep in mind that I'm also on the, um, I'll say veteran side. So somebody who is more new in the game may experience a much higher yield and size than someone like myself. Um, in this video, uh, there's a video of me training chest. Um, you know, chest is definitely one of my favorite workouts to, to do. Um, well, who doesn't like chest day? Um, sometimes I like to get a little crazy with the barbell bench and uh, go up to four plates. Um, you know, I do it with a pause, because just to be careful. Um, I've, I tore a pec when I was 20 years old, after I did Teenage Nationals. Um, I, I, you know, something you never forget, and that took me out for a good year. Um, I remember tearing my pec, 
and being a young, emotional uh, young man, I, I just freaked out and I said, I, I never want to buy blood again. And I got on the treadmill and I starved myself and I got down to 130 pounds. And um, then I remember people that I knew seeing me again and they get at me and going, dude, what the hell happened to you? Oh my God. And uh, you know, that doesn't feel good ever. And um, for some reason, I just felt like I had unfinished business in bodybuilding and uh, like I had to get the monkey off my back. And so I just, I came back swinging, um, you know, with a big baggy hoodie on, uh, kind of ashamed of how thin I had let myself get. and went back and just started from square one. I couldn't train, I actually couldn't train chest with weights for, man, probably a year. Um, but I would train everything else with weights and every night I would do these push-ups in various different angles just to try to stimulate the muscle there. Um, and you know, it took a lot of patience but I was so determined to get back to where I was. Um, you know, and I, I did that for, for quite some time, I would say, oh, until I started, you know, training, you know, my full body with weights, you know, it took me a good, probably six months back in the gym and, uh, you know, I was ready to go. And, uh, you know, at this point in time, it doesn't bother me anymore. Um, but, um, yeah, man, I, you know, I, just say to people that get injuries and they get down on themselves, I mean, yeah, you can let it take you out or you can just use it as something to make you mentally stronger and uh, just something to push through and work through. Um, we're all going to have speed bumps. It's never always going to be smooth sailing. And every obstacle that you have to overcome is just going to make you a better navigator. So keep that in mind and just never give up. That's the key. Feed me, see more. Feed me all night long. <laughs>